According to a Harvard study, nearly 40% of us gained weight during the pandemic for a variety of reasons, but the new year is a great time to start something new, and if healthier eating is one of your resolutions, New York Times bestselling author Dr. Ian Smith says he can help. His new book, Burn, Melt, Shred, is out now, and he's here to tell us about it and answer from viewer questions. Dr. Ian Smith, good to see you again. Hey guys, happy new year. Good to happy see you. Happy new year. My first show of the year. You guys yeah. look good as usual. Good to see you. So tell us what's in this book if people want to pick it up. Is it something quick like a three things and I'll be I'll lose 20 pounds <laughs> go wow I'd be a billionaire if that was the case <laughs> listen I did something different this year yeah. I decided I was waiting for my kids to come out of school I was going to help as many people as possible mm -hmm. in 2022 for three months free of charge to lose weight and so I took this book burn melt shred it's an eight-week program it's very simple very straightforward very affordable and I self-published it so that it's very cheap it's seven dollars and 99 cents so my whole thing was give me 99 cents for eight weeks and i'm gonna change your life uh and so i decided the free part of this is going to be that i'm going to do a zoom session every week coaching session every week for whoever wants to be on the zoom and i'm going to do a facebook live session so we have a facebook group called the title of the book burn melt shred people can join the group and they can join my and i'm going to coach people for free for three months and see if i can get people to lose a gang of weight all right, here are some questions. How sure. do you combat weight gain that is a result of long-term medication? The first thing you don't do is get off of the medication, okay? You talk to your doctor. A lot of medications, by the way, have a side effect for weight gain. Uh, so you talk to your doctor. You say to your doctor, listen, I'm gaining weight. Is there a substitution? Often there are substitutions uh, for medications that have the side effect of weight gain, but don't take yourself off of it by yourself. Try to find that substitution. That's the answer right there. All right, this person says, I am a yo-yo dieter. I fell off the wagon after a month or so. How do I fight the urge to eat junk food? The first thing is to understand that everyone falls off the wagon. Like falling off the wagon is not something to, you know, castigate yourself about. But the key is you have to set milestones and outline milestones. And so you have to say to yourself, every week I'm going to try something different and new and create a new habit. Don't try to do too much too fast. If the program was overwhelming, take part of the program and do that part that works for you and then add on a new piece. One of the biggest mistakes people make in the new year is they set unrealistic goals and they don't meet them and they feel like they failed. Well, you haven't really failed. You, your goals were just unrealistic. So I know you lay everything out in your book, but like let's say someone just wants to try one new thing right out of the gate if they have a lot of weight to lose. Is it something just cut out junk food? What's the one thing to start? I well, don't know. I always believe make half of your plate color, you know, fruits and vegetables, half your plate, every mm. meal has to be color, full of antioxidants, tends to be lower in calories, lowers your blood pressure, lower your cholesterol levels, making that one adjustment. And then the other part of it, by the way, is whole grains. We don't eat enough whole grains and fiber. They make you feel full longer. So in Burn, Melt, Shred, people are enjoying the program because every week is different. People have to do different things each week. Otherwise, you get what I call diet boredom. You don't want to eat the same yeah. foods all the time or the same exercises. So I try to get people to try to mix it up. What are the whole grains again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, give me an example. because I Oats, it. Okay, so bread? farro, barley. So you can eat bread. Uh, you can eat 100% whole wheat or whole grain bread, but it has to say 100% whole wheat or whole grain. Just because it says multi-grain or seven grain, ah. the grain can still be refined. Ah. It's not whole anymore. Refined means they smash the grain, so it's got to be 100% whole wheat, 100% whole grain. Huh. Gotcha. All right, is the keto diet really a good idea, or is it a quick fix and the weight comes back once I go off it? Well, I'm on the record for being a big opponent of the keto diet. Does the keto diet help you lose weight? Yes, but only for the short term. It puts your body into what's called a state of ketosis, which is somewhat of an artificial state. And the minute you stop eating the way it asks you to eat, you gain all that weight back and then some. With burn, melt, shred, I'm just the opposite. My idea is build forgiveness into the program. Everyone's gonna have a bad meal or a bad day. You keep going. With keto, if you have a bad meal or bad day, you gotta start all over again and get yourself back in that ketosis. Mm. I'm just not a big fan of it. All right, here's another question. What foods do you eat to help with inflammation? Ah, awesome. So there, it's not necessarily the foods that you eat uh, f uh, to help with inflammation, it's eating more anti-inflammatory. So for some people, things like wheat, okay, can be inflammatory. You talk, talk people, people talk about gluten. Uh, gluten can be inflammatory for people. It really depends on who you are and what your type is as far as these anti-inflammatory foods. But I believe that when people eat less processed foods, that things that are closer to how they are in the ground, coming off the tree that you tend to have less inflammation. All right, next question. I see a lot of water drinking challenges on social media. Is it possible to drink too much water? <laughs> That's a really great question, actually. I laugh because in med school, we talked to our, our kidney teacher about this, our nephrologist. Yes, you can theoretically drink too much water. 
And the reason why you can drink too much water is because you don't want to have too much volume uh, compared to what the concentrations are of your metabolites and your electrolytes. Uh, so yeah, there can be too much water, but you'd have to drink you know, a gallon of water in a short period of time or gallons. Theoretically, yes, but is it practical? You're not going to drink too much water. All right, and this person says, why do some diets say you can't eat beans? Aren't beans vegetables? <laughs> well, you know, listen, there are thousands of different diets, and people make them for thousands of different reasons. I'm actually a big proponent of beans. Of course, they have some side effects that may not be friendly to your, your spouse or your significant other, but beans are great. They have fiber. They have protein. They are a great source of non animal protein. So in my book, beans and legumes, chickpeas, lentils, they're all wonderful. Once again, lower in calories, feel full fiber in the protein. All right. And for, once again, you can check out Dr. Ian's new book, uh, Burn, Melt, Shred. That's and right. uh, if people want to find you for that Facebook group and all that, where do they go? The name of the book. Go to Facebook, Burn, Melt, Shred, or if you're on Instagram, at Dr. Ian Smith. Spell the doctor out, I-A-N Smith. Good to see you again. Good to see Happy you guys. New Year. Thank you, doctor. Same Happy you. New Year. All right.